No, I'm not kidding. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my lifetime as a hockey fan. And the numbers back it up, interestingly so. Today we're talking about the NHL's point production leaders and the guy who has taken over the reins at the very top of the NHL, Jack Hughes. Now we've made a few videos over the past few days just going over different guys who have started off hot, who have been near the top or at the top at the point production race at different times in this early season. Ilias Pedersen comes to mind, Jack Hughes already comes to mind too, but sometimes you start out hot and sometimes you just get hotter as the year goes on. We're talking today about Jack Hughes because of the domineering lead he has taken over the NHL with in this year's scoring race. And I said this earlier in a prior video, but because Connor McDavid is going to be out for an extended amount of time, this leaves the NHL's Art Ross race up for grabs for anybody who is willing to go out there and step up to the challenge. You've got Leon Dreisaitl in Edmonton still producing points. You've got that Elias Pedersen still in the mix. You've got guys like Rontan and Kucherov all entering their names into the hat as well, but none other than Jack Hughes has gone out there and impressed in such a domineering way that you can't really go out there and ignore it. This is literally the craziest thing we have seen in decades, and it's only matched by some of the best players the NHL has ever had. So, we're going over onto the game log here, because Jack Hughes, in his recent five games, has two goals and 13 assists for 15 total points. That's a three points per game right there. Add on the first game of the season where he had two points, and that total goes up to four goals, 13 assists, 17 points in six games on the year. Talk about a contract being a steal, eh? The guy's making $8 million a year till the end of 2030, and he's already producing at a rate that almost supersedes his first year in the NHL. In 2019-20, Jack Hughes had 21 points in 61 games played. This year, he's projected to hitting 21 points in only eight games. Now, this is the crazy part about it, is that this goal per game number, four goals in six games, hey, he's on pace for 50 goals, that's crazy. But his 13 assists in six games put him to a total pace of 233 points. And this is over a sample that spans multiple weeks. This is not just one game where he pops off. No, this is a healthy amount of games to kick off a season. And Jack Hughes has gone out there and produced this much, having such a lead over everybody else in the NHL, that even if you go over to Connor McDavid's last year, Connor McDavid in 22-23, McDavid last year in the first six games of the season only had 10 points. Jack Hughes has seven more. And the numbers get even crazier when you talk about some of the stats that have been brought up. Here's one that was talked about yesterday before the Devils played off against the Washington Capitals. Here are players in the last 40 years to start the season with 14 points in five games. Wayne Gretzky, Mike Bossy, Brent Sutter, Mario Lemieux, Kevin Stevens, and Jack Hughes. It's the first time in over 30 years that a player has had a start like this. But then, the Washington game happened, where Jack Hughes came alive and scored three points in the contest, all in the second period, too. The Devils eventually lost that game to the Caps, Ovi getting his second goal of the season at the end of it. But with Jack Hughes putting his point totals up to 17 in only six games played, the numbers get even crazier. Here are the most points for the first six games of the season in modern NHL history. Super Mario back in 88-89 had 22 points. Mike Bossy, 84-85, had 20 points. Lemieux in 92-93 had 19 points. Gretzky in 83-84 had 18 points. And Jack Hughes right now has 17. Now, the thing is, even though you could say, oh wait, he's not number one, like he hasn't overtaken these guys, he's just right there. Well, that's the thing. These are just the most productive seasons in modern NHL history. If you wanted to go to the most recent versions of what these guys ended up accomplished, here are the most recent players with 17 plus points in their first six games of a season. Hughes is right up there with Lemieux and Gretzky. 17 in 95-96 for Mario and 93-94 for Wayne. 
In fact, NHL scoring is so crazy that if you wanted to go over to Wayne's most productive season of all time, the one that everybody talks about, you know, most assists, most points, 215 points back in 85-86. If you go over to the season and look at Wayne's first six games played, the guy has three points against the Winnipeg Jets, two points against the Blues, one against the Islanders, two points against the Boston Bruins, three against the LA Kings, and then one versus the Winnipeg Jets once again. You have yourselves a total point production in this span of 12 points. So... Jack Hughes is literally outscoring Wayne Gretzky during Wayne's most productive season of all time. Now, that is nitpicked, very nitpicked, because Wayne ended up doing crazy things, getting multiple five, four-point games in that season. He had a seven-point game thrown in there. Multiple, actually. So, Jack Hughes has a lot to go out there and beat if he wants to continue putting his name alongside of guys like Lemieux and Gretzky. He, of course, is on pace for 233 points, which would be the NHL's all-time point record leader, but we have 82 games in the season. We've only played six. Sure, it's a very great sample size for what Jack Hughes has accomplished so far, but at the time of recording this audio, he just hasn't gotten as far as we need him to go yet before really putting him beside these names. Now, of course, just starting out the season and seeing this, this is the most productive thing I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen anybody go out there and produce as many points as Jack Hughes has, and that's because I was born in the year 2000, so when all these guys, Lemieux and Gretzky, were putting up their crazy numbers, I know a lot of y'all who watch these videos are a tad older than I am, and you have memories of watching these guys on your old TVs and seeing them in the newspapers dominating the NHL games. That's totally fine, but for me, this is the craziest thing I have ever seen, and it comes off the helm of a guy in Jack Hughes who cannot stop assisting on Tyler Toffoli goals, which is great because I have Tyler Toffoli on my fantasy team, and that guy has been carrying the past little while. Thanks to Jack Hughes, thanks to the motivation of him playing with his younger brother Luke Hughes in a New Jersey Devils system that treasures him as much as they should, everything is going right here for the New Jersey Devils, and Jack Hughes is the one reaping all the benefits. I guess if Tyler Toffoli goes out there and starts producing more goals too, he puts himself into the NHL's goal-scoring race for top in the NHL. That's probably best-case scenario too, because uh, yeah, that'd be pretty good for me and my fantasy. But uh, yeah, Jack Hughes, at 17 points in six games played, also leads a lot of the other Devils. Jesper Brat has 10 points, which is still, like, crazy good point production. Do 10 divvy 6 multiplied out by 82. Jesper Brat is on pace for a 136-point year, which, under normal circumstances, we'd all say is amazing, spectacular, fantastic. You're not going to get better than that. But Jack Hughes is on pace for 200. So, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts at the comment section below about this entire ordeal at the beginning of the season. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share Ash Rolls 99. And bye. <laughs>